lot of five and a quarter inch floppy, but uh, this is uh, we have a whole box of eight inch floppy, but we don't have the drive. Uh, not only the drive, a hook up the drive <laughs> to read the this. So uh, first thing is uh, the okay. Oops. Is the physical hookup, you know, USB, you know the USB port. <laughs> there are so many interfaces. For five and a quarter inch puppy or three and a half inch puppy, you know, actually a few years ago, we found almost the last batch of uh, motherboard that have a five uh, floppy disk controller in this, so we can just hook it up with the cable. But eight inch drive, they are using, you know, interface like that. There's nothing, <laughs> you know, in the motherboard, you can hook this up. So, uh, then, you know, of course, of course you, you need to hook up physically, otherwise you cannot do that. So, some people make a converter, you know, hooking up this and then the other is just the five and a quarter inch or three and a half inch interface. So people sell this. <laughs> so you need to buy this, you know, you need to know what to buy. <laughs> Is that the controller? It's not the controller. It's just, it's just like... It's just a converter, converting the physical dimension, you know. Of course the pin, they have to be correct, but it's yeah. not the controller. Okay. Yeah. Do you on eBay? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, so someone is nice enough, they, they share their experience of, you know, trying to uh, hook up an 8 inch floppy and then share this. So, or actually it's Denise. Uh, oh, oh don't give it away, Peter. We're selling it for cheap. <laughs> <laughs> so, $1,000 a... a... <laughs> Go ahead, sorry. Yeah. So, uh, someone, you know, uh, have uh, experience on that and they share the information and I got the information. Okay, and next step is the power. So, in... Um, So the power supply. So some, you know, if you have a five and an inch or CD hard drive, you know, you just plug in the power. But eight inch floppy actually use different voltage. <laughs> <laughs> so you cannot just plug in. So even though, you know, even the, the hookup, you know, the connector is different. Even the connector is the same. The voltage is different. Mm. So this one is a step up from five volt to 25 volt. So wow. which you can drive the floppy disk drive. <laughs> so this, yes? I think the plug is the exact same if you accidentally plug the wrong voltage into it. Uh -huh. No, it's no. not high enough voltage. Okay. Yeah. But it won't run it correctly, right? It won't run it, yeah. And, okay. So, oh, it's already 12 minutes. So let me, okay, so this is, you, you need the physical connection. After the physical connection, then is the software side, the driver, whatever. So some people actually use, uh, there's a, another one controller card called CatBizzle. So they have a floppy disk controller in that card that you can read five and a quarter inch floppy even eight inch pop. So when you mention about controller, actually is the controller is in the cat whistle car. Yes. Sorry, what was the name of that? The I, I can. Cat yeah, yeah, I, I, I can share the. There's one page that I I, I will share with you uh, after the uh, mm -hmm. thing. So and uh, cat whistle car also have different driver. <laughs> they have Windows ninety five. They have Windows ninety eight. They have Windows XP. But the thing is, it's just a driver for, for most of the five and a quarter inch floppy. The one with the software uh, written for eight inch floppy actually work only in Windows 95. Hmm. So you need to find the cat whistle driver which designed for Windows 95. And then you need to have a station you know, running Windows 95. So it's another challenge. 
So I try to, I have, you can easily download the, all the installation disks from internet, uh, you know, you, you can just search and then uh, there are many places you can download it. So I download it and I try to install uh, Windows 95 in the machine. The machine actually have 12 gigabyte of RAM. And Windows 95 only needs 640K. <laughs> At the end, you tell me I run out of memory. <laughs> <laughs> so because the way is the modern memory and the old memory, they are not the same. So it's the hardware dependency. The other thing is uh, when I use my new machine, I have USB, I have you know, the, the USB keyboard, whatever. But the Windows 95 disk actually don't have USB driver. Because at that time, there's no USB device. <laughs> so then I need to find an old machine. <laughs> there's old architecture. And then uh, uh, one, and also, you know, the modern keyboard US, use USB. The old keyboard actually use this type of interface, PS2. The Windows 95 disk also only work on PS2 keyboard and mouse. So then in, in the beginning, I only have the uh, PS2 keyboard, but no mouse. So <laughs> for a few days, for a whole week, I only you know, work without a mouse. And then I sent an email to uh, Stanford asking for PS2 mouse. Someone worked at Stanford Computer Science Department for 50 years, email me back. He said, okay, I have two of them. So I went to uh, CS department and then get the two mouse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so then uh, the other thing is I need to find a old enough computer with old architecture. Luckily, Robert Quigley's uh, collection have some old, you know, computer with old architecture. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's why they don't throw it away. <laughs> but I also need a drive because I don't want to uh, override the uh, collection material hard drive. So, but luckily, I have my own hard drive. They have the old interface, ID interface. So I sacrifice my hard drive to Stanford <laughs> for this project. And then you know, I try to find a uh, Windows 95 uh, cat visual driver, but so far I can't find it. Oh. But well, it's step by step, you, know, you see? So it's uh, trying to find the physical connection and then trying to build a Windows 95 station. Step by step, I think I'm getting closer and closer and closer. I'm not sure whether I can you know, eventually uh, get hooked up uh, to, to read five, uh, the eight inch copy, but at least I'm getting close. But I think, you know, if everyone, anyone interested in that, you know, I will share my information, you know, you can just carry on. But I will also carry on and then you see whether I succeed or not. Okay, that's what I want to share. <laughs> as, you can, as you can definitely tell, Peter doesn't like his job. <laughs> That's great, Peter. That's super. Yeah. <laughs> uh